Good morning, it's Marianne at Marianne's Michigan Kitchen, and today I was perplexed on how I was going to make something, because I wanted chicken thighs, and I wanted them in the oven, because it's a cool day today, so it's a nice way to warm up the house, and I have a big head of cabbage that I got at a farm market a couple weeks ago, I think, so I want to use it up, and... I've got olives I want to use, artichokes, tomatoes, purple potatoes, local garlic, some seasoned salt, olive oil, and um, this is what you do. It's not a recipe that I'm going to write down. It's just the ingredients I have that I'm going to use because they do need to get used up, especially the cabbage and the tomatoes. And the potatoes. So come along and enjoy the ride as we get into the cooking. And this is how you learn how to cook without recipes. So, and if you record it, then you'll know what you're going to do next time if you have similar ingredients. So let's take a look at them. So here I have cabbage. I've already cut off some, but um, this is the core. It runs up inside, and you want to cut your cabbage this way so that it all stays together. And then I have my purple potatoes, some will call these blue, but when you peel them up, when you slice them up, they'll be purple in there. I have my local garlic, my Italian seasoning, I have my seasoned salt back here, I have my olive oil. I have my tomatoes that need to get, they're getting a little wrinkly, so it's time to get them used up. I have my artichoke hearts. I have my olives. My better than bouillon chicken. And then I have my chicken thighs. Four chicken thighs. Two ninety nine a pound. I, so I paid four seventy two for the chicken thighs. Now, I'm going to cook them all in my big pot, or big skillet here. And here's the fun part. It's going to get hot this week, so a lot of this, once we eat today, will shift over onto eating Tuesday with it. So first thing I'm going to do is put olive oil in this pan, baking dish, whatever you want to call it. And yes, some people will tell you not to use the good olive oil for baking. I usually don't listen to those people. This is an extra virgin olive oil. I usually just go with what I have. Basically, I go with whatever's on sale at the store. So, I got my big knife out to cut this. So, I'm going to cut one inch pieces. Sorry, curving on me. And that is a steak. So they call it. There's another one. So what I don't eat today, I thought about it. I thought, well... I can make up into rice. Boy, that's just going all kinds of crooked on me. Save this. You can see the core is right there. So I have some of the core in this one. This one's kind of thick. Yep, that's the core right there. It's too thick on the bottom, too thin on the top for me to safely cut. And it's really all about safety when you're using these big knives. So I think I'm just going to leave him like that. And um, I'm going to stick him in here. Stick this guy in there. So 
So I got three nice pieces. And I got this little guy. Okay. So I put them all in there. Olive oil on the bottom. Put a little olive oil on top. I forgot I was going to get my brush. brush the olive oil. So anyways, I can do fried rice. I got rice out in the freezer. It has to get used up. We have a new refrigerator coming on Tuesday. So, and I have a doctor appointment on Thursday. So it's all about prepping for the week ahead because it's going to get a little crazy. A little bit of seasoned salt. You might be wondering where I'm going to put the chicken thighs. Well, wonder no more. I'm putting them right on top of the cabbage. Sprinkle a little Italian seasoning there. Now, I'm not using my big knife to cut these guys up. Look how beautiful, gorgeous. These are organic potatoes that I got at a local farm up in Michigan called Grainer Farms. I used to grow potatoes. Gosh, did I love growing potatoes. My favorite was um, called Mountain Rose. It was a pink, red on the outside and pink on the inside. And when you made mashed potatoes out of it, it just, just floored your mind. Whoops, let's turn him over. He's wanting to be a little wiggly. Trying to make sure I don't see any. So these we're going to scatter around. This is really, I guess, what you'd call a uh, one pot meal, one pan meal. Now we're going to get the chicken out here. I know a lot of people always say, wash your chicken, dry your chicken off, do all this stuff to your chicken. Cut off the chicken fat. Cut off the excess skin. You know, you bought it, you might as well cook with it. Ain't no sense leaving it out. You paid for it. So there's the chicken. I'm going to put some seasoning on it. And everybody, a lot of people you see on YouTube and chefs and stuff say, oh, you got to season each side. You got to make sure to thoroughly season all of that stuff. Really? I don't think you're buying very good food if you got to put that much seasoning on it. Okay, now the tomatoes are a lot of fun because when you leave, you don't put the tomatoes in the refrigerator. You leave them out on your counter. But they start getting wrinkly. It's not a problem. They'll pop back up. All right. Oh, that's looking pretty. And then I'm going to put some olives in there. Need this 
right now. I'm really getting in on this Mediterranean eating. I'm not calling it a diet. I'm just calling it eating. There we got that. this over here. Garlic clove. Sharp, flat object. Smushing. Get the skin off. And I'm putting these in whole. Unless I smushed them all, which I did. All right. There it is, a one pot meal. Um, then I was gonna put my better than beef, better than chicken bouillon on here, but. I think I'll wait. We'll go from there. Sprinkle a little bit more olive oil over the top. Now remember, the cabbage is on the bottom, and then I got the chicken thighs on top, and I got all the vegetables. Purple potatoes, tomatoes, olives, artichokes, garlic. And we're going to put it in the oven, and we're going to uh, let it cook for probably about an hour or so. At 350, in the middle of the oven. And uh, when it's done, I'll pull it out. I have to crumble up some more Parmesan Reggiano cheese, but I'll sprinkle Parmesan Reggiano cheese over it. And I'll see what kind of moisture I have in the bottom of the pan to see whether I'm going to use this or not. I might not use this. It's my favorite seasoning, but, you know, you just never know until it comes out. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is my plate, and the cabbage cuts really nice, and mm, that cabbage is good. I made a little gravy, put on the potatoes, put a little sour cream on, a little gravy over the chicken, got some artichokes here, tomatoes, and olives. Lovely meal. Yeah. Very Mediterranean.